okay, now we are excitedly finding this great name Vine in all the words of God, okay? So, it's amazing. Um, yes, God has ordained YouTube. I just found Vine in YouTube, Y-T-E, 50. Because <laughs> um, this is a mechanism by which God um, provides information to people. Yeah, you can find 50. So, Vine equals 50, and we're searching for it now in um, other words in God's story. So I just found it in the internet. Um, very easy, T-E-E-T, -E -E -T, as in tweet, I am fine. Um, I already looked for it in straw. Man, there's so much to, um, okay, we're going to go scientific here. Uh, in the, um, in Plantville, you have the xylem and the phloem. And I'm recording this for, uh, yeah, you, you can find um, vine in the word plant. It, the PNT is the only way to find 50. Um, okay, so now I'm looking at <laughs> xylem and phloem. You remember those terms, but God is sovereign over all of this, okay? So let's um, take a look here and see what God has ordained in these letters. Um, Yes! <laughs> Amazing. Um, this gets even crazier, folks. The vine that you find in the word xylem is identical in position to the 50 that you find in the word trunk, as in the trunk of the tree. The YLM occupy the same position as the RUK, which adds perfectly to 50, which equals vine. Jesus is the vine. He is the xylem. He is the, f the um, phloem. <laughs> so xylem... Um, it's one of two types of transport tissue in vascular plants, phloem being the other. So the basic function of xylem is to transport water from roots to shoots. Remember the center of the word, this is so funny now, it's, it's obvious to me. What do roots and shoots have in common? Well, the OOT, which equals vine. <laughs> so the center of the word roots is 50, vine and then shoots, the OOT is sitting right there. The basic function of Zion is to transport water from roots to... Okay, so there's a lot of words to hunt down here. Um, leaves, transport some nutrients. Um, interesting. I'm just, I want to find vine in everything now. Um, Okay, so there's a couple terms to, to search out here. Um, and I'm recording this because this is the first time I'm seeing this stuff with my eyes. And, and so it'll be on camera for the history books. Um, November 21st, 2017, 7 a.m. Okay, let's go. So uh, what are some other words? Flown. Let's check the flown. Flown equals Jehovah equals ghost. You, you don't get vine in phloem. You don't get 50. Bang on the nose. Um, but there's other personal names of God hiding in there. But xylem is the one that actually transports the water from the roots to the shoots. Okay. Um, what else will we find here? Uh, because we know the word vein equals vine. Let's see. Tissue is another word to hunt. How about artery? Let's look up artery. Yeah, tissue has an instance of 50. Very similar arrangement as the other. Very similar. Yeah, okay. Um, how about artery? And arteries. Um, yes. 50 is in there. Mm hmm. T E Y. Vein. Vine. How about um, arteries? Yes, there's many. 50 in there. Um, let's keep going.
excuse me. Hmm. Of course, the term was introduced by Nigeli. You can solve people's names in history, like Carl Wilhelm von Nigeli, like Nigeli equals son, Carl parallels father, just like Wilhelm. Um, okay. Um, plant, root, trunk. Okay, anything else that's like a supply, a channel. So the word channel is 57. So can you pop off seven points? No, to get by. No channels. Just keep going. So we're on the hunt for words that. Uh, Wow, that just opened up when you say channels. That really ends in uh, vine. It has a beautiful symmetrical arrangement there. Um, in fact, channels equals God plus vine. Um, hmm. Excuse my bed, whatever, who cares. Uh, okay. Like, referring to things that are like the source of, of something. Um, clouds, you know, from whence rain falleth. Jesus the vine. L-O-D-S. Sold. Aha. There you go. See, that's a big gem. The word sold equals vine. You know, on the, on the, the sticker on a house sign. Sold equals vine. And the S-D equals the IM at the center of vine, and the LO in sold equals the VE in vine. So that's a glaring one, that the word sold equals vine, okay? Um, many people, for their providence, you know, it's a sale. That's how you get your providence. That's how Jesus provides for you. He might tell you to sell something. He says, I am the vine. Jesus says, I am the vine. He says, in order, he says I'm going to provide for your needs this month by you selling something that you don't need. Like you're going to give it to someone else. He says, sell your house. Sold <laughs> equals vine. Just like void on your paycheck equals vine. Okay, all these. So sold equals vine. And very glaring because the SD equals IN and the LO equals VE, love. Okay, so that's a huge one. I'm writing all this stuff down. The gold is in the streets. So sold equals vine. Sold sticker on your house. Or Today we sold a car, honey. That's how Jesus provided for us. I sold the lawnmower, and we got the money for it. Now we can buy food. Sold equals vine. Jesus is the vine. Jesus is sold. That's glaring, so that's a big one. And those letters exist in the word clouds. Okay? Sold exists in the word clouds. The clouds are the vine, are the providential channel by which rain falls. Okay? So what, let's think in your mind, what has God ordained in this universe that is like the source, you know, four other things. Well, let's look at the word source. Let's find 50 in the word source. Jesus is the source. Jesus is the vine. Now, there's no 50 in source. This is, this is research in real time. Um, I'll look at the word scripture, the word holy bible. Well, see there, vine, 50 is at the dead center of holy bible. In order, it's I am vine. Vine is at the center of Holy Bible. Holy Bible is the Word of God. It feeds you. It is the vine. So that's a big one. Um, i got to write all these things down because it's so... The, the wisdom is so abundant. Um, vine at the center of Holy Bible. Okay. Um, so let's look up the word... Uh, Word is 60. Let's just keep going here. No, 15 words. Um, scripture. Yeah, there's a beautiful, perfect hopscotch in uh, Scripture. Very glaring. Very glaring, that vine, because you get the seed, you get the 23 and the uh, 27, just like in vine. Um, Oh my, I am the vine, 
ye are the branches. Um, let's find the vine in the branches. That's a clever thing to do. Yes, branches ends in 50, which is fine. Um, but then slow down and you see, um, look, that, that, that vine on the end of the word branches can be constructed letter for letter perfectly. You got the N, you got the E, HA equals I, CS equals V. Done. I just perfectly see the name of Christ vine on the end of the word branches. There's one vine, Jesus, from which are supported billions and trillions of branches. Okay? Amazing, isn't it? Okay. Well, so the branches are connected to the vine. Vine is right on the end of the word branches. Isn't that amazing? That's huge. Like this, this is the wisdom of God down to the perfect detail. Wow. Yeah. It's like you got to write all this stuff down. Um, so what else? Um, hey, hey, there's so many terms to. Uh, so people talk about the grapevine. Let's let's look at grapes. Fruit comes to mind. Um, fruit ends in 50. The word fruit ends in 50. Let's look at the word grapes. Can we find vine in the word grapes? Yes, we can. There's one way. Just pop off the P. Whoa. The fruit of the vine. The fruit of the vine. Oh my Lord, my God, the floodgates have opened on this one. Like, like this is such a huge title of Christ. I am the vine. Because everything down here is satisfying something else. Like, everything is providing for something else. It's called the food chain. Like, <laughs> it's just like so... But it's all Jesus. I know. So, what else? You slam in the words, letters food chain and see where vine... Yeah, it's easy to follow up. Okay. Um... I am the vine. Um, think about your mouth. I'm just throwing the word mouth. Throw it in there. Um, my goodness. Um, so trunk, root. How about the stalk of a plant? Stalk. Yes, SDK is 50. Vine. Um, uh, technically, the ground is whence everything grows. Yeah, there's a 50 in there. Um, we win. Pound. Oh man, this is a really good one. Um, in Britain, which is, of course, the capital of English speaking, it's the British pound. Well, what's at the dead center of the word pound? Vine. <laughs> Jesus, in, in now money has God's great title, one, at the dead center of the Lord our God, the Lord is one, in order. Okay. Now I see, and it's, it's very perfect, that O-U-N. U differs from V by a single point, N equals N. But O differs from an IE by a single point. That O U N equals vine, glaringly. And that's at the dead center of the British pound. Okay? So you see that? Aha. When you hold up when you hold up several pound notes or pounds, or think of pounds of weight, which was um, how all provision and food was measured in world history. Say I'd like to trade you or whatever, four pounds of this, pounds of that. Um, but it's the whole subject of providence. Okay? So vine. Jesus is your vine. Jesus will provide you with pounds. And... Okay, let's find vine in the word English. Um... Yeah. Uh, three ways. For instance. Um, niche is almost obvious because you have the IN and the 27. Um... Okay. Um, oh, 
let's let's talk about the most obvious vine in human anatomy. When you were a baby, it was your umbilical cord. Um, and you can find 50 in oxygen. Yes, X gen equals vine. Okay. Uh, and that's also glaring because the EN is on the end of vine, and then the G and the X in order of oxygen differ by two points up and down. Okay. Um, you know, find vine in the word leaves. I'm going to get to umbilical, not there. Um, chlorophyll. <laughs> This is fun, finding vine everywhere. Yeah, it's in chlorophyll. Okay, okay I want to get to umbilical cord. Umbilical. Let's try umbilical first. Yep, perfect. Hopscotch and umbilical. Let's add the word cord. Let's see what we find. Ooh, okay, I need to... Um, tons of results. Um, yeah, there's your... Obviously, vine and umbilical cord. Um, how about the word spirit? It says God is spirit. Um, no 50 in there. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. I'm just, this is first time. Yeah, it's in there. Um, I'm looking for centrality. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. Um, oh, yay. Um, Supplier, provider. Let's find it in father. Yeah, yeah, there's only one way to find it in father. Pop off the H. And then, yes, again, you get your 27, 23, just like in Vine. That's cool. Because we know the father is the provider of the Vine. Uh, we already said the dead center of provider. Um, let's other terms. Giver. Uh, giver has 61. You cannot knock off 11. Um, I see a lot of coolness, though. I mean, the three center letters of giver are the f I've. Um, Giving, yeah, it would be a lot of parallel line. Um, I am the vine. The word flow, this is all exploratory. Oh yeah, the word flow ends in vine. So there's a lot of words I'm seeing that end in this 50 um, that are worth mention. The word fruit, the word flow, the word branches. Okay, all of these words end in 50 which equals Jesus title vine, fruit, flow, branches. Um, okay. Lots to discover here. Um, element. There's a lot of big words to think about. Yeah, elements has got it there. Uh, nutrients and uh, sap, sugar. So what I'm doing is I'm finding all instances of 50 in famous strings that relate to a vine, as much as I can think of it. Um, oh, you drink from the vine. Um, 
I am the vine, ye are the branches. Another word for vine is stem, but you can't get pop off the seven. I am the vine, ye are the branches. Veins, arteries. We call them blood vessels, so let's look at the word vessel. Let's look at the word vessel. Yeah, that does contain a 50 SSL. And then it leaves behind 32 life. That's cool. The life is in the blood. You can find the word life. I'm the vine. You are the branches. He's also the well. That's a new um well is 52. I gotta write all these um, things down because we're putting the puzzle together is what we're doing. Ooh, interesting. So Jesus is the last. Jesus is the salt of the earth. Jesus is the pearl of great price. All of those. Um, Jesus is the heart. Jesus is the door. Jesus is also the well. So all of those famous titles of Christ all equal the same thing. Okay. So we're putting this puzzle together. Okay. Jesus is the door. Jesus is the well. Jesus is the heart. Jesus is the salt, the last, the pearl. But in particular, we're making, we're finding his great title, Vine. And it was at the center of provider. The vine is the provider. Found it? Oh yeah, root. So. So 50 vine is on the end of the word fruit, on the end of the word root, <laughs> and on the end of the word shoot. So from root to shoot, it flows up the vine. It's just, so all of these words end in 50. Fruit, shoot, root, flow, branches. I mean, from root to shoot to fruit. Who gets the last word on all of this? Mr. 50. Mr. Vine. From root to shoot to fruit. All of those words, now Goddard, all of those words end in vine, mathematically. That's profound wisdom. And the word flow. Jesus said, okay, he that abideth in me, okay, maybe we'll go to the scripture and, and harvest those words on the very introduction that Jesus had of I am the vine. Guaranteed, we'll, we'll, we'll scoop up gold. Whenever Jesus says, I am the, I'm just doing math on everything now. You can find the vine and all that. But Okay, I'm opening up Blue Letter Bible, because this is going to be exciting. We're going straight to the red letters. Um, so, I am the vine. And we're going to just, okay, when, we, when you find a big gold nugget, you search nearby to scoop up the rest, okay? That's what we're doing. So we're going straight to the red letters. Okay, this is so exciting. Um, I love the fact that the largest land animal is an elephant and it draws up its water through a trunk. And trunk equals one vine. Isn't that amazing? For Jesus' glory, the largest animal on this planet gets its sustenance through a trunk which equals one vine. Um, now we can do the same thing with us, like how about lips, tongue, throat, analyze those words, look for the, the 50. Lips, tongue, throat. I've got to plug in this video camera. Don't go away. Ah, see, I believe the Lord may have just provided me a gem there. Let's see, how is this camera receiving its power? Oh, a power core. So we, we should analyze words like that. The power source, right? Battery. Jesus says, I am the vine. Like, it's just going to be a harvest. Forgive me, now this thing has a sort of a. I'm just trying to align it. My goodness. Um, hopefully it'll stay in. A, fine, that's good enough. This is uh, the floodgates have opened. Um, I'm looking at the word power cord. 
see if we find vine in there. Yeah, a whole bunch of instances. Okay, let's go to the red letters here. Here we go. John 15, John chapter 15. Okay. Um, I am the true vine, and my Father is for every branch um, in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Um, beareth. Uh, taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So this whole concept of abiding. Abide in me, and I in you. So let's... Abiding. Let's analyze this word abiding. Okay, it doesn't reach 50. That's fine. Rare fruit of itself. I am the vine, the other branch. He that abideth in me, and I in him. Um, well, let's try and let's try and find vine in Jesus. <laughs> There it is, J-U-S. Um, mm -hmm. And the word vine ends in an S, N-E equals S. Okay, yeah, no, I'm seeing it. I am the vine. Jesus. This is taking you deep, as we should. Ooh, wow, the vine in Christ is stunning. Perfectly symmetrical in both ways that you find 50 in Christ. That is amazing. Like it's trifork and then bookends. The vine, the 50 in Christ is beyond easy, beyond perfect. Wow. Whew. This has just opened up another world of revelation. Like, I am just getting the satisfaction here from the Lord. Like, whoa. Find vine in Jesus and Christ. You will be amazed. Just like, whoo. Okay. Um, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken to me. Abide in me. I'm the vine, you're vine. He's abiding in me. And the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If a man abide in me, there's other words that come to mind. Uh, so much grafting and all this stuff. Uh, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, it's so amazing how it's all words. Um, you shall ask what ye desire, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so ye shall ye be my disciples. Um, I, I just can't resist harvesting as much as possible. Um, so, amazing. So now, you can find vine 50 in all of those famous words that equal um, Jesus. Like Jesus is the king. Ah, I've been waiting for that one. There's many words in the English language that end in ting, which equals vine. Glaringly, aha, so now I have another puzzle piece. Think about the word thing, but there's many, like I can easily use code right now to, to find, so I have it open right here. Find all the English words that end in ting. Okay, this is very important because that ting is flawless for vine. The dead center of the word ting is I am. The bookends of ting equals the half love, 27, 3 times 3 times 3. Glaring. And in fact, the T differs from a V by two points and the E from a G by two points in the opposite direction. So ting, everywhere those letters ting occur, they are screaming out Jesus' name, vine. So, sitting in front of my eyeballs, I kid you not, I am staring at a list of all English words, courtesy of the computer program, that end in ting, and there's a lot of them. What does this mean? This means that the great vine, Jesus Christ, takes the last word, gets the glory for the end, 
and we know how satisfying it is to get the last word. Okay, of all of these English words, and there's a lot of them. I knew this was a big one, but this is very big. Like I'm looking at hundreds, hundreds, probably thousands of English words that end in ting. Like I'm actually shocked. There's so many of them. Like there are so many floating, like fruiting, fruiting graduating. This this name vine is obviously so huge and so dear to the heart of God because it's the last. Remember the word the the, the, um, the ending shun equals father. It's the center of shun equals the bookends of father, and then father gets the last word. But now I'm seeing vine on the end here. Like just about everything you've ever done in life that ends in ting. Knitting, knotting, everlasting, everlasting life, liberating, light, lighting, listing, lofting, maturing, or maturating, mediating, meeting, meeting as I am, vine, nesting. Piloting, like what punting, reacting, like every verb under the sun practically ends in ting, which is vine. Um, it behooves you to start simple, like ting. The simple sound there is ting. Okay. Smiting, slotting, snowing, socketing. Okay. Um, sweating. <sighs> Floodgates have opened. Sweating. Sun, vine. Um, that's funny. Oh my gosh. Um, what's the final word? Zesting. Whoa, yeasting, yachting, writing, Pfft. writing, amazingly, writing is a vine, vine, double, my lord and my god, my lord and my god, we know that reading equals father, but writing, w-r-i equals vine. And then ting equals vine again. So the gold is in the streets, my friends. The gold is in the streets. Um, so writing, like that's how all the words of Christ are delivered into our hands is courtesy of writing. Like in all history, writing equals vine, vine. So writing equals 100 perfectly. Like, okay, this is a huge... Vine equals 50, and the year of Jubilee was every 50 years. I mean, and think about just 50s everywhere, like in money, 50s everywhere, and then hundreds, multiples of 50. So writing equals 100, double 50. So this, this title Vine is massive. It also equals lion. Jesus is the lion of Judah. It's interesting to see, like, the lion is the king of beasts. The vine is, like, you know, the, the supply for all the plant world. It's, it's like one is a supplier, one is a devourer. Like, it's just one, like the lion is at the top of the food chain, the vine is at the, 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 the root of the food chain. It's just like, this is crazy, but it all belongs to Jesus, who is God. Okay. So, um, so, okay, so that's a huge list. All the English words that end in ting which equals fine. Okay. Um, a very important thing to do always is find all words that have uh, a title at the dead center. Okay, so I can, I can quickly change my code to do that. I can say, um, this is crazy. Um, crazy awesome. 
so it won't take me long. So now I'm going to find all English words that have 50 at the dead center. Um, and the computer's working on it right now. The vine. Um, but it's, it's most satisfying to just simply start with um, words that come to your mind that would relate to um, a vine, like a source of nourishment. So there's a lot of them. There's a lot of words that have 50 to dead center. That's, that's a more, uh, you know, exhausting. Wind. Amazing. Wind equals vine. And that's glaringly the correlation between wind and vine. I'm like, it's the wind that makes billions of vines blow, like, as I speak. The wind of the spirit, but you're just like, W... Gosh, W difference. Whoa, the doors have just opened into a whole new level. Um, <laughs> wind equals vine. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Okay, this is just exploding. This is grade 50. Um, um, so yeah, there's a lot of words that have vine dead center, but um, <laughs> the word ultra. Oh, the word tooth. Yeah, the word tooth, that makes sense. A tooth is like an auction. Um, there's lots of them. Um, a snout. A snout, of course. A snout is like a trunk, it's like a, a vine. It sucks up the water. An animal's snout is like its vine. Unbelievable how the floodgates have opened. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so let's, let's, I'm gonna, I, I do believe snake equals vine. A snake slithers like a, yeah, snake equals vine. Okay, Jesus is the vine, Jesus owns every snake. Um, and a snake is shaped like a vine. It's just... The floodgates have opened. Simple. I know that, yeah, Jesus equals simple and has vine at the center. Just like since. Shin, shelf, setter. On the volleyball court, the setter is the vine. They feed the um, hitters. That's profound. The vine is the center. Um, so, so, okay, huge flurry. I'm going to switch to human anatomy for a second. Um, so, can we find... Um, now, I know the word vine. The word vine parallels mouth perfectly. Plus one at the front. Letters that divide by three, and then two plus twos at the back. So vine, so even though you don't find 50 in mouth, you have to know your offsets. Mouth, the letters mouth are flawless. Flawless for vine. Okay? Um, and Jesus fed people with his mouth. Profound, profound detail. And some wisdom here. So, um, so vine parallels mouth perfectly. That is glaring. Um, it, let's take a look at the word uh, tongue. Okay. Let's take a look. And then we'll look at... Uh, man, there's so much to see. Yeah, tongue. Oh yeah, contains the O-U-N. Which is... Um, 
uh, vine, and then the rest equals life. So two very famous, Jesus said, the, the scripture says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Well, amazingly, the word tongue is vine plus life. Like vine, life. Tongue equals um, life plus vine. Ay, ay, ay. You know, everything begins as a word. <laughs> um, when you start speaking things into existence, you, you start speaking things into existence. Like, you start declaring what God wants, what you want, what God is going to do. Everything begins with a word, just like the world was created with words. So that's huge. Um, I mean, you can get detailed like voice box and pharynx, pharynx and larynx. And it's just, it's, it's amazing. Um, I insist on getting scientific so that you can see the modern. So yeah, larynx has the vine in there. Um, just going to keep thinking of words that are like source letter. The dead center of the word letter is vine. E T T E. Vine is at the dead center of the word letter. And we know that this is all letters we're studying here. Jesus is the vine. He's the source of every letter. That's huge. The floodgates have opened. Um, okay. Um, so let's let's do a. By the way, okay, fifty does not. Um, I'm curious. Um, right, when Jesus said, I am the vine, that contains the E V I N. Um, vine. What else with respect to uh, rhizome? I'll well, get scientific. Every term you ever learn. Yeah, there. Rhizome, um, scientific word for root, has vine at the very dead center. That's critical. Furthermore, the ultra center is God, which is the center of I am plus three, and then the bookends IO is VE minus three. So at the dead center of rhizome. Amazing. Tendril just came to my mind, and vine is at the center of tendril, and then the rest equals life. So tongue equals life plus vine equals tendril. Like you're just thinking of everything in creation. Um, so vine is at the center of letter, tendril, rhizome. All of these, like this vine is such a huge name of Christ because. Enough said. Um, blood. <sighs> liquid. Just looking at the word liquid. Yeah, LQU. Vine. Um, I was surprised that water did not contain a 50. Waters, not even. I am the vine, you are the branches. Um,
exploratory research, folks. This is the kind of patience it requires. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. Uh -huh. I am the... And my father is the husbandman. Let's, let's take a look at pruning as well. Prune equals Jesus equals great I am. Ay, ay, ay. Um, now some people say the father is the vine dresser or husbandman. Um, the word husband starts with vine. It'll be on film, the one gardener. So we're finding 50s in all this. Which is another word for branch? Twig. Um, yeah, TWG is vine. Ooh, that's glaring. So see how the, the vine feeds the twig? <laughs> because the TWG is in order, like vine. W is I am, flanked in 27. So that's cool. Amazing. Um, so everything it starts as buds as a double end. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. Let me shoot the stock. So I might look at like plant anatomy terms. And yeah, nucleus starts with vine, just like husband. Um, plant anatomy. A plant anatomy diagram. Just see what other terms we got here in the scientific community that God is sovereign over. Just plain and simple. So they call it the tap root. We know that root ends in vine. Um, yeah, and tap root. Ooh, that's glaring. The two words tap and root are connected perfectly. A P R O equals vine. And the rest equals Jehovah. The tap root. Um, root, stem, pedial axle. How about the word flower? Yeah, of course, it contains the L-O-W. Low. Low. The vine goes down the line. Interestingly, the word high um, equals life. The word low equals vine. Isn't that amazing? Just, just meditate on it. Chew on that one. Because life plus vine equals tongue, right? Which is the root of all the spoken words Jesus ever gave. But meditate on that. That low 
equals vine, and high equals life. You know? Low equals vine, high equals life. Jesus. These are all the titles of... Um, what other words? Yeah, so stock. Okay, I'm going to run out of memory chips soon, but this has been very awesome. Um, I, would, I would love to get into human uh, anatomy more. You know, umbil umbilical cord, I am the vine, you are the branches. Um, yeah, okay, sperm contains an obvious 50. I am the vine, Jesus the root. Jesus the source. Um... Yeah, many 50s in there. This will run with a memory chip soon, that's okay. Jesus, the center. 